Hello guys, today I brought another video for the Lenovo K4 Note. This is the MIUI 9 ROM. This is by far one of the smoothest ROM that I have seen for this device. And this is based on Marshmallow as you can see in a while. It is made, just wait, let me decrease the brightness. And it is made on the 6.0 Marshmallow build as you can see over here. This ROM was ported from the Redmi phone by MacBlaze, one of the developers of XDA. And this is by far the smoothest ROM I have seen. Everything works here. The fingerprint does work. Then for example, you can use the fingerprint to lock up other apps like for example Netflix. You can see it is locked up and then you can unlock it using the fingerprint the compass also works pretty fine so you can see that this is working now let us check for the NFC and let's see if that is working or not so NFC So NFC here there is no option as you can see when I'm typing over here NFC the thing comes up so we can see that NFC does not work the phone comes pre-rooted with super SU which I believe is a problem for a few of us who prefers to use magisk so that is one downside the camera here works perfectly as you can see so this is the front camera this is the rear camera and we are going to options so this is the camera so we can see that we can save it to SD card if you want so there are a few more options this is normally the stock MIUI version and it works pretty darn awesome so let's see how to get it installed to install it first you need to go to the forum xda i'll be posting the link to it in the description below when you go to forum xda you will download the file and pay and copy it in your recovery so so then copy it into your internal storage i have done it in uc browser via uc browser i believe and you can see that this is the rom so then what you will do is that you will be rebooting to your uh, preferred recover uh, to your recovery please be sure to be on the marshmallow recovery and not the lollipop because it works only on marshmallow and more preferably in the Mohan CM's recovery. So you'll just boot to recovery. So now we are waiting for it to boot to recovery. So let's see. It has now booted to the recovery now please be sure that you have the Mohan CM belt so I'm not sure if you can see it properly but don't worry I'll be posting a link to it in the description below in case you are not on the Mohan CM recovery build all you need to do is download the file again I'll be giving the links in the description below go to download then select uh, install image and then flash the file which you have downloaded as a recovery option please be sure to be choosing only recovery and nothing else and then all you have to do is swipe to flash it then you need to go to reboot and then reboot to recovery so now what you will do for installing is you will wipe your entire data you will choose dalvik system data and catch and swipe for 
and swipe to wipe i'll not be doing these all because i have already flashed it but i'm just showing you the steps then you will go to install and go to where you have downloaded the file i have downloaded it in my uc downloads and then i you will select the file and then you will swipe to flash it after that you will reboot the first reboot takes a lot of time so you will just have to be patient unlike mine where i have already installed it and this is the second or the third boot it will take a little less time but the first boot really takes a lot of time so once it has booted i will again come up so you can see this is the boot animation you do not need to worry as the rom will be pre-rooted and it will come with gapps so you do not need to flash gapps so please be careful with it so i'll again start once the phone has booted up so this took a, a very little time and now that the phone has booted up you can see that you will be having the google apps and you will also be having super su i have restored all my other apps now one of the main features why i am showing you this rom as this is the first lenovo k4 note rom with volte support yes this rom finally comes with volte so geo users can actually be excited about it so to activate it just need to go to volte enable and then wait for some time So you just give it a few minutes it will automatically out of the box be uh, VOLTE on I just disabled my VOLTE uh, just uh, to get a little bit more of battery but out of the box it will support VOLTE so you do not need to worry so this is one of the few uh, this is the only custom ROM which I can say which has VOLTE out of the box due to some reason my view LTE is not being shown so let's just see what I can do about it so let me just go to aeroplane mode once and then let me come back from the aeroplane mode to see if view LTE works or not As you can see that it is not detecting any of my sims so what I can do is I can do a quick reboot so let me just reboot the system and let's see what happens I'll again come back after rebooting it we have finally rebooted the device and you can see that you have VOLTE over at the top so just to make sure that this is not fake let me just make a phone call via my VOLTE so let me just call 198 via the So you can see that VOLTE is working. So as VOLTE is working, so you can say that this is the first ROM with VOLTE services. So that's it for the videos, video guides, and I hope you liked it. So if you did, please do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more such videos.